Jack Knife is saying, is the enlightenment state of mind a real thing? Okay, well, this is a very Dep vague way to De ask this question. Depends on your definition of enlightenment state of mind. And yeah. yes, it is a real thing because I'm experiencing it right now. <laughs> based on my definition, I, had, <laughs> my um, definition. <laughs> I i love this so i had a psychology professor um tell me that the closest well in he was saying he he argued that the closest thing to the state of enlightenment is basically the way that a dog thinks meaning being so and tethered into the present like in a way that it, we have to train our human minds to be focused and mindful of, of, in, of the present moment, not thinking about what happened in the past, not detracting towards anticipating what's happening in the future. He was saying that a um, completely like present focused mindset, like a, like a dog basically is, is enlightenment. Which I is thought the, that was funny. Yeah. Yeah, it's just funny because so many different people have different definitions for enlightenment, right? Because if you think about enlightenment thinkers, it's the exact opposite of what you just described, right? So uh, enlightenment means so many different things to so many different people, um, and depend it really depends on the definition. If you're talking about um, some people think like having a high level of knowledge about things will make them enlightened you know, it means they're at an enlightenment state, which is goes to thinking about enlightenment values and thinkers and, you know, the science. And some people, when they're thinking more about Zen and Buddhism and meditation, it's kind of the opposite, you know, it's that you're becoming less mindful of, you know, and it's very interesting because there's two different versions of this, right? Um, it could uh, it could either mean when it, from a meditative perspective, it could either mean that you are more aware of yourself, or you are actually completely unaware of yourself to the point that you destroy the self. Right. Mm -hmm. So, when it comes to meditative perspective, you could either be like, be so focused on you know, your existence and your experience that you will become as aware of your thought and your ego and your, you, you try to map every single pleasure or every single idea and see where it's coming from and where it's going. And you become so self-aware, right? But in other forms, you're trying to do the opposite of being self-aware to the point that there is no self. Complete at ego all. death. And you, yeah, complete ego death, which is closer to what you're saying to, uh, feeling like a dog, right? Because dog are, dogs are not self-aware. Um, so again, it really depends on what you mean. Yeah. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.